Hey, you got Fox here. Today we have a review of 95 slash 98 overall Jenkins, Janoris Jenkins. You can get him to 99. I've seen the picture like you guys have seen the moving picture, the Fox and the Hound. Janoris Jenkins here, 93 speed. He's got FGLD. I like the Field General because you get that extra speed on there. Um, the 94 acceleration, 96 agility is, is great because, you know, agility is, I feel like, underrated. For because it helps guys like cut when the ball's thrown, it helps them shift directions one way or the other. Man coverage 95, zone coverage 93, press 82, play rec 95. Don't play two man press with him because he won't get uh, great press on people. We're comparing him to Sam Shields, and overall, I do like the Jenkins better than Shields, especially because the the block shed is higher. Jenkins is in the mid to high 60s, and Sh Sam's is like 50 something, if memory serves correctly, on that one. But Mudhead doesn't have Janoris Jenkins on its site yet because EA told him not to put defensive players there. So he's got the physical stats. We'll see how it translates to this to the field here. Uh, his traits are pretty good. Nah, no clutch, no big hitter, high motor, no strips ball, no, and plays air, but plays ball and air balance. So actually, probably some of the worst traits possible. I just lied to you and I apologize for that. I wanted to be positive, but. You know, reality sometimes kicks in and you get a little negative. But that's based on his 92 card. I don't think traits change over. So we're going to take a look at his run support, his pass support, man coverage, zone coverage. I run mostly a cover two zone there. You see him on the left there. Do you see him shadow his man? Didn't get beat. He's got the red star underneath him as 98 overall. There he's rallying to the ball, rallying up and missing the tackle. And that's something that you're just going to, it's just going to happen to corners. You're going to miss tackles unless there's a night train lane or something. Janoris has uh, hit power 64 and tackle 74. And there it's just uh, not a good look for us there either. So, as you guys know, in my testing with zone corners and everything, it isn't great. Look at look at him. Like He didn't react to the guy behind him. Like He just kind of stood in his zone and didn't react to the guy falling behind him. That's kind of what I want to show. Remember, he's on the left with a red star underneath him. Um, he, he doesn't react to that. Like He should react to that guy coming through his zone, but he doesn't. He's got some of the highest coverage stats possible. Uh, a play rec at 90. Awareness, even though we know it doesn't do anything on defense, at 90. So you'd think that those things should make a difference about, you know, be aware of players coming through the zone, but it doesn't matter. So that's why I don't look at those things. There he is, coming back in cover two, kind of sitting there, kind of sitting there. Now he reacts to the quarterback after he gets past the line of scrimmage. So I kind of like these sits in zones, but he should be more aware of the guys around him based on his decent zone coverage and uh, his man coverage you'll see here in a little bit just as bad um, there he's not able to hit that ball out and that's why I, I like corners with higher hit power because maybe not in that instance maybe it wouldn't have worked there he's getting cut down for the run block and there's nothing really you can do there except for maybe hurdle that and make the tackle but I, I do like corners with higher hit power than Jenkins there he is reacting and kind of getting in late on that run support here he is getting blocked but is able to hold his ground long enough to stick up his running back and allow my defense to rally. So, do I like Jenkins? He's solid. He is very solid. Man coverage always leaves something to be desired in this game. That's why I don't really run it except for like deep situations. There, two on one, and he's almost getting the pick there. There, he's kind of like in a deep and a cover three. Here's another cover three here. Let's see if he can rally the ball. Oh, that was good reaction. See, that's the agility reaction and the low tackling, missing the tackle. But that's why that's why I do like his low his agility because once the ball's thrown he sees it. Same with zone coverage. You got to get that zone coverage high. There's a pick, right over the top. So his catching stats. He's got 87 spec catch, which is great. That's a great corner spec catch. There he is, agility coming back. He was in a deep zone, so it's hard to, with those comeback routes to really react to him properly. But in, in coverage, in zone coverage, you know you can't really ask for too much more than him because everybody plays the same in zone coverage. But the zone coverage, as we know, makes them react the ball's better like I've said and here's him off the edge he kind of got blocked and held up for a little bit longer than you'd like to see maybe night train lane gets off that a little faster but overall I didn't hate his run support um, and that's something I really look for a lot in corners that's an unfortunate situation like a guy with higher hit power might be able to knock that out of that dude's hand lay a hit stick somebody like a uh, night train lane or, or Ramsey might do a little bit better there there he is oh yep he reacts to it right when he crosses the line of scrimmage which is kind of what you want um, that's the ideal time to react to the quarterback Reacting a little early might get you screwed, and you really want to wait for the user input. So, did I like Janor Jenkins? I, I did. I did like his speed, his agility, everything about him. He, he does transfer from route to route pretty decently. But, 
He's going for a, a whole crap ton of coins right now. I think I saw like a 1.4 million coin sale on him. Again, Mudhead doesn't have the data on him, so it's hard to really nail down a price. But uh, my buddy who lent me this card, NJ Horn, said he sold. He ended up selling him for 1.4 million. I, I think he bought him for quite a bit less, so he got a nice little profit on that. Here's a screen react to it. Oh, just jump over it, and Jenkins is able to push him out of bounds. Now watch this man coverage. This is one-on-one -on -one man coverage. C route and you're dead you're dead oh Jenkins 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 and we're not able to catch up to him even with the 93 speed so he celebrates going to the end zone so that was a bad, that was a uh, that's a, that's man coverage in a nutshell even though his man coverage and agility is very high C route still dominate for guys with under 96 route running there is a nice little reaction but not able to get to it able to knock the ball out in the double coverage there a little bit of run support shed and get the tackle nice work Jenkins so Am I going to pick up this Jenkins for my team? I don't think so. His his run support's great. His price is high, but I I could see it like can uh, kind of get into where Elliott's price is now, 600k ish, depending on what the bundle toppers are, 500k maybe. And and he's a decent price. It, uh, he's decent for that price, but I just I just value hit power, tackling, run support things for my corners more than anything. There is a nice little tackle because he got the side. But. Uh, Everything else about this Jenkins, just lovely. He played about as well as you could ask, with the exception of, you know, man coverage. You're kind of just setting guys up to fail with uh, man coverage against C-routes. So, there's a nice pick to end it. I would give Jenkins, based on a 1.4 million coin uh, cost, like a, a 7.9. But based on a 500,000 coin cost, I think he goes up to like a 8.5. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I will see you tomorrow.